it's space weather, it's 99% of the time nothing really important happens and 1% of the time something happens and maybe 0.01% something really horrible could happen. In a worst case scenario it can cause a lot of transformers to fail. Even a relatively small change in the magnetic field can induce large voltages and that can burn out the transformers and it would take years to replace them because these are individually produced. In a worst case scenario it, it would be really a disaster, much worse than a major hurricane. And that's what started establishing the Space Weather Prediction Center and taking this as seriously as we try to predict uh, other natural disasters. And it starts essentially from the surface of the sun where you can have eruptions or solar flares and these propagate all the way from the sun to the earth. When we first met with the uh, Space Weather Prediction Center and they told us that they want to predict the uh, changes of the magnetic field at certain locations on the earth we were very skeptical we thought this is not going to work. Space weather depends not only what you measure right now but it depends on the whole history of what happened. So we spent maybe two or three months trying to improve our model uh, for the, this type of predictions and, and we improved it substantially. I mean, it was already not a bad model to start with, but I didn't expect the results to be as good as they turned out to be. Our model will be used by the Space Weather Prediction Center. They are the national entity uh, charged with providing space weather predictions for everyone. We can actually do quantitative and reliable predictions which are better than the empirical models and which are already useful. For some operations maybe this is enough, maybe it's enough to switch off a, a power grid, but it may not be enough for, say, the military to plan an operation ahead of time. They want a lead time of five days. We would be able to give reliable predictions of the effects on Earth. Uh, that would give a lead time of at least one or two days and that would be a huge step up. It's not enough just to be better than the others, you have to be good enough in an absolute way to, to be useful.